Ooh, this is interesting. Huh. Okay. This is this is kind of cool. Kind of cool. So we have a Zacian, Incineroar, a Whimsicott. I think I have a pretty bad matchup versus this. Actually, hold on. This is kind of scary. Uh, thanks for the resub blub. I appreciate you. I think I might just go rain mode. I think rain mode's fine. Obviously, I can't lead off with that. Um, and Incineroar on lead looks pretty good. Politoed in the back. Rosma. Hopefully that doesn't bite me in the butt. This actually looks kind of scary. <laughs> I don't know what to do versus it. Love you, homie. I love you too, blub. And I I watched Megamind like three times this year. Like, Megamind is such an underrated movie. I think Megamind's probably my favorite DreamWorks movie, movie, even above, like, Shrek 2, despite how much of a banger the Shrek 2 soundtrack is. I think Megamind is one of the greatest movies ever, ever created. I got reminded of that because you were like, love you, homie, I was going to say, and I love you, random citizen. All right, let's see what we can do. Dragapult Whimsicott, perfect lead. Um, perfect lead. Now you might be saying, Marcos, what are you talking about? That lead sucks. And I have to say, yes, it does. <laughs> the only way I win this exchange is if the Whimsicott goes for a protect here. Um, which I'm gonna bank on. Which I'm going to bank on, please. Please, sir, do that. Do that for me real quick. Predict me to fake out your Whimsicott, because it's one of my few options I got. Blue guy, fish robot, Tina Fey, based cast. Please don't recognize that my only play is banking on you protecting. Please just fail to recognize that. Or possibly, um... Don't attack my my Kingdra for some reason. <gasps> it worked! <laughs> yes! Don't be Sash! Yes! <laughs> ah! That's what you get for playing optimally! <laughs> no amount of big brainedness can beat my tiny pee pee brain, dude! They never learn. <laughs> they never learn that I'm just that bad at the game. You want to see something else? There is a 99% chance that this is a weakness policy gigalith, and I am not letting him have that. He does not get the satisfaction. <laughs> Be... Oh, I don't get... Okay. Sad. That would have been really funny. <gasps> Ooh! He's not getting the satisfaction. Please be weakness policy so I can just nay nay on him a second time. Please, I need this in my life right now. I need this in my life right now. Please, please, please be weakness policy. That's all I need. He was not. He was not weakness policy. Hello, <laughs> useless little haze. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't fear that. I. I really don't fear that. Um. I just spam Scald until it works. I could also, like, Swords Dance right now with my Necrozma and go straight into my Incinera to fake out the Whimsicott next turn. Which I think is going to be a lot safer than what I was about to do. Shut up. <laughs> I did not just remove the Accuracy Drop. That was a phenomenal play by a phenomenal player. Protect the Whimsicott. Protect the Whimsicott. You know you want to protect the Whimsicott. Give me one reason you should not protect that Whimsicott. I definitely threw this game by hazing. I could have just gone for the Scald. I could have just gone for the Scald and I would have gained so much more from that. It would have been like in the bag. Make another Fatal Protect play, please.
Oh yeah, there it is. There it is. All right, uh, don't body press. Okay, no, 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 it's over. It's over, he's done. Get him out of here. He's done. He's about to lose his gigalith privileges. This man is about to lose his gigalith privileges. And the funny thing is, there's no reason to attack the Whimsicott. I can fake out Sunsteel Strike, the Gigalith, and there's no reason not to do that. What does Whimsicott do here? Because he's going to live this. It's, it's. I mean, he might. He should live it. He's going to live it, but he does not expect me to double the Gigalith here. He either switches or sacks the Gigalith. That is his curse. He's got to choose one. He's got to choose one. Oh my, made the wrong decision. Okay, maybe he made a somewhat smart decision. Depends on how this turn goes. Maybe he made a somewhat based decision, in fact. Actually, no, 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 no. I should be able to one-shot this thing. Not the Gigalith, obviously. I was talking about the Garchomp. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say Gigalith protects here. Try to stall for time. Incineroar, you live this hit. I know you do, bud. I know you live this hit. I know for a fact you're living this hit. Probably not Sash Garchomp, but should still, you know, try it. Go ahead and EQ. Go ahead and stopping Tantrum. Breaking Swipe. Dog, no. That wasn't your play. I mean, that's a cool move and all, but that wasn't the play, dude. Like, dude. Like, that wasn't it. This was not it, bro. I think plus one should do it. I think plus one Photon Geyser should be enough here. Oh, he's Rocky Helmet. That's a lot of damage. A lot of damage I just got for clicking a move. Oh, no. Um, on the bright side, I can just do that again. And... He should just Parting Shot again. Or he should just Breaking Swipe, I mean. So I'm going to target that, and I'm going to Parting Shot here. Yikes, Helmet Chomp has seen more play than you'd probably think. Has it? Has it? I haven't seen much of it. Then again, I like don't play enough to make any comments on the metagame anymore. Thank you, Chomp. Yeah, I should be able to take whatever this thing goes for. Um, and Politoed, I think, has enough bulk to eat this. Because he's just going to body press. Hey, Pokesports, how you doing? Which one of you is this? Which one of you is in my stream? I feel like Rain Dusk Main is just so fun. It's such a fun little comp. It's Kevin? Alright, cool. There's the body press. You know I eat that. You know I eat that. I am Necrozma, baby. I'm the Joker, baby. I love that video so much. That dude doing that presentation where he's trying to be the Joker. I'm the Joker, baby. Uh, Gigalith should be in Scald range. And Whimsicott is in everything range. Really doubt I'm facing the rare... <laughs> I really doubt I'm facing the, uh, the rare, nearly extinct, uh, possibly very endangered uh, Energy Ball Whimsicott right now. Even then, it wouldn't KO. Today I learned I suck with Calyrex Shadow Rider. I don't understand how to play it. I don't understand how to play Hyper Offense. I can only play, like, these bulky, pivoty teams. Like, I can't play anything but them. And they're so satisfying to play, in my opinion. I don't know if you think... That, that doesn't help you as much as you think it does, bud. <coughs> yeah, no. Goodbye. Yeah, I mean, Wimscott could definitely eat the Scald.
This team only becomes hyper offense when it's playing against Xerneas. Because Xerneas teams are like, hmm, which Pokemon shall I use to beat the Necrozma? My Volcarona or my Incineroar? And the Gapdos is just sitting right there like, either one, bro. Either one works, you know? All right. Yeah, I'll check it out. I'll check it out. What? Yo. Yo, the nearly max HP? Kind of crazy. All right, he had an Encore. That could have been bad if I went for Trick Room. Actually, no, it wouldn't have been because I'm running Mental Herb. Yeah, Bulky Chomp is really cool. That's what I pretty much figured on this thing. As it turns out, um, he didn't really have anything to beat my my Kingdra. It's kind of cool. All right. Ah, yes. The matchup everyone says that this is an auto loss for. I'm here to prove them wrong. I'm here to prove them wrong. They do not understand. They just don't get it. They just don't understand. It's not an auto loss. It's only kind of an auto loss because they're running a Moongus, you know? It's only a little bit of an auto loss. <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> uh, let me go uh, and Cinera Zapdos, uh, Tapu Bulu, Brazma. Bapu Bulu, Brazma. My, my children. Bapu Bulu and Bacrazma. I kind of wish I had Quick Guard on my Zapdos, but I still like Detect. I mean, we already beat a Calyrex team on stream today, but to be- Oh, it's Dawn. We're just straight up facing Dawn. Okay, no, this is probably the ideal lead for me. Okay. Um... I'm gonna go out on a limb. I'm, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that you're about to, uh... I really want to call the Protect on the Regieleki, but I just can't afford not to. Do I need Zapdos to win this? Not really. I'd like to get rid of Regieleki, though. I think I'd like to get rid of you early. Let's go for it. Why not? Why not? Do you have Protect? That's fine. That's fine. Um, I should be able to protect Snarl. Uh, one would assume, or detect Snarl. One would assume here they would go for the Volt Switch in my Zapdos, assuming it's a one-shot, or even possibly double into it. And I can actually preserve my Sash a bit longer. I can go into the, um, once this thing's at minus one, I can go into my Hepu Bulu pretty safely. And the fact that they Tailwinded tells me they might have not actually... And the fact that they brought these Pokemon, it tells me they might have not actually brought the Amoongus. I really hope they didn't. They already have a Grass-type here. I should just straight up Snarl again and go into my, my boy. Or, um... Yeah, I'll just Snarl again. There's no reason not to. If they go into that freaking Calyrex, it's just... It's gone. It's gone. My my audio level in like my voice and the in-game audio, that's that's like fine, right? Because I'm not recording them separately and it's gonna be annoying to edit otherwise. Alright, there's the bolt switch on the Bulu. Two damage, thank you. I'm gonna get like all of that back. Please go into Calyrex for some unknown reason. Oh my god. They really didn't have to they really didn't have to throw like this. I'm gonna keep it real with you. They really didn't have to throw like that. Alright, so they try to call the sash. It's not gonna do much because AV Bulu absolutely cracked. They really didn't have to throw like that.
Okay. I could... I could Flare Blitz and Snarl again. Just to get rid of that thing. I think I'm just going to double Snarl, though. Like, really, give me a reason not to. Give me a reason not to double Snarl. Actually, Snarl Horn Leech is technically my play. Because I get the most health back from that. And if I connect my Snarl with my Incineroar, it's fine. Because it will always KO. Oh, please go into Regieleki. Okay, no, no, that's fine, too. You're gone. You're just gone. You're not running Poison Jab. Snarl goes first. Connect, please. 95 accuracy. Awesome. You're not enjoying this at all. This is not going to be a pleasant experience for this Pokemon. <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. I don't think that was a straight one shot, but that was fine. That was fine. <laughs> Listen, there's Mien Shao and then there's Mine Shao. Thank you. Mine. And that's what it was. It was a Mine Shao. Go ahead and go into Regieleki. The same thing's going to happen. Possibly even worse. Possibly an even worse outcome. Now that I think about it, give me this too while you're at it. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. For everyone who said that that matchup was an auto loss for Dustman Necrozma, please donate $20 to me. Necrozma Specialist. Okay. So, we're facing a... Yeah, this is another amazing matchup for me. Another classic matchup. The non-torn ogre. Yeah, no, I'm, not, I'm not even going to think about it. I'm not going to think about it that much. Um, It's actually Shedinja. Thank you. Someone take away this man's moderator status for misspelling Shedinja. Not Shedinja, it's Shedinja. That's actually a command in the showdown room. If you misspell Shedinja, it will immediately correct you. Just a, what the bot does in the showdown room. Can someone explain to me why this team's so nasty? Why? What What gave me the right? What gave me the right to make such a nasty team? I don't know. Someone has to stop me. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm about to lose now that I said that. Okay. Hello, Kyogre player. The choice is yours. Do I get off Trick Room? Or, because I'm going to live this, 100%. Yeah. Do I get off Trick Room, or do I get your Kyogre? I'm going to go for both. Because I think I always get your Kyogre. Kyogre. I remember that from the Hoenn anime. They, they, they mispronounced Kyogre. Kyogre. He has opted to try to save his Kyogre. Mmm. Did he just Ice Beam me? No, sir. No, sir. That is not knocking me out. This is the second time that has happened to me on stream. Thank you, Tapu Bulu. This is the second time I have been frozen by a Kyogre Ice Beam with the auto win Tapu Bulu. <laughs> okay. Okay. Check this out. Um, What are their switch to Horn Leech? What are their switch-ins? They got quite a few. One would assume it'd be the Incineroar. One would assume it's Incineroar would come in here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to Nature's Madness here. There's no way you stay in. There's just no way. There's just no way. Yep. Okay, good. It's Shedinja. I didn't, I, I'm not getting intimidated this game. And I land the Nature's Madness. 
Thank you, sir. Give me that. Thank you. This should KO. I'm going to say this KOs. I'm not certain, though. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So what's funny is this team just absolutely annihilates Shedinja because we have two Snarl users, a flying type, and... And... <laughs> <laughs> Sunsteel Strike ignores abilities. <laughs> um, so I can Snarl here pretty safely, and I'm going to Sunsteel Strike that thing, because if he even dares to ally switch, he's not going to like the outcome. Yeah, no, you're not going to like the outcome of this. I'm living this easily. And he's still taking some pretty nasty damage. Nice focus, Sash, bud. Nice nice focus, Sash. Pretty cool. Does, well, I mean, Nature's Madness wouldn't work, would it? Because <laughs> it rounds up. I was going to do, like, two. Yeah, that did, like, two. Sorry, bud. I'm sorry. I, I don't know how to tell him. I don't know how to tell him he lost. Um, so, fun fact. Because my Tapu Bulu is always slower than my than my Dustmane Necrozma, um, I can Snarl here. And Photon Geyser very safely. <laughs> oh, that's cute. That, that's, that's pretty cute. That's pretty cute. I have to, I have to give it up to Shininja. That was pretty cute. Bye. Now this won't KO, but it'll do quite a bit of damage. Gonna probably bring it down to like 20 at, at most. Or we just KO. That too. That too. Tapu Bulu is such a good Pokemon. It is so slept on, man. It is so slept on. I almost feel like the fact that it doesn't get fake out or grassy glide opens it up to so many different options that people just don't think about. Like that, why didn't you go into that earlier? Why didn't you go into that earlier? Alright, Trick Room's over soon. I'm just gonna close combat. I win with my uh with my Galarian Zapdos anyway. Swords dance. Yeah, nice. With that. Uh, I'm going to call the stream today. I'm going to call the stream today. We didn't raise any direct donations, but I got a good amount of subs. So that's actually a good amount of money going towards me uh, getting the new computer part. I Once again, I'm trying to fix my motherboard. Um, but yeah, trying to fix this motherboard. Trying to replace it because it is uh, not letting me use my, my computer to stream and make content. But it's fine for now, working off the laptop. I appreciate you guys helping me out with all the subs, and I appreciate you all coming out to the stream. Let me see what my rank is at the end of it. Um, battle Stadium. Ranked Battles. <clears throat> I'm probably going to be like halfway through Ultra. Hey, Pokesports, thanks for the sub. Yeah, a little under halfway through Ultra, but yeah, we went, uh, what was our score there? Seven, or six and one. Oh, I'm going to stream again tomorrow. Hopefully we can get all the way up to Master Ball tier without losing any more matches. That would be like one more match. I think, I think going seven and one to Master Ball tier is pretty good.